What chemical does stuff like this to your plumbing system? In this video, we're gonna find out. I'm gonna pour clean out sulfuric acid drain cleaner in these jars and drop the pop in each one of them. And actually I'll probably have the pop in there first so I don't have to worry about it splashing. So I'm gonna open these up, drop the pops in there, pour drain cleaner in it. We're gonna let it set for 30 days. Look, this drain cleaner has been banned. It doesn't matter what drain cleaners you use, read the directions, be very careful. This one, if you saw it last time, it splashed up, actually burned holes in my shirt. And probably just cost us a shirt, which is fine. Burned my arm, but you know what? I survived. So what I normally tell people is don't use liquid drain cleaners, it'll damage your pipes. A lot of people argue with me and say, no, it won't. And I've got a feeling it's not gonna damage the plastic, but I mean, think about this. It's a plastic bottle. But here's what's funny. It's a plastic bottle that they completely seal off in more plastic. So I don't think it'll cause any problem here, but I'm interested in seeing what it does over here. And I know a lot of y'all are gonna tell me, Roger, drain cleaner will never set in the pipes that long. Well, if you've got a belly under your house, it can, because this is gonna be heavier than water and it's gonna set in bottom. And if you've got a lot of it in there, that water may just go right over the top if it does clean out the drain. Okay, so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm literally just pouring in enough to cover the pot. What? I don't, I don't know if y'all saw how quick it cleaned the oxidation off of that, but that was like immediate. Maybe use this to clean your silver. I'm joking, do not do that. Most of these covered pretty good. Man, that blows my mind. We've poured about eight ounces in each jar. Some a little more, some a little less because of the size of the pipe. Uh, some of the pipes are floating. So here we are, July 23rd, happy birthday, Squirt. Let's see what it does and we'll get back to you. Ready? Let's go. It's been 30 days. I wanna check this stuff out and I gotta tell you, some of them that you look at, it's like, man, not sure that it, did anything at all. And then again, a couple of these we looked at, it's like, what the what? Put a little bit of distance between me and the, the chemicals. So, clean out. Let's see what it does. Grab the piece of pipe, and this is just the corrugated tubing. Okay, so it really, it doesn't look like it did anything at all to this. It's still firm. It's not cracked. I, I see no problems at all. So I'm literally just gonna put that back in the water. And this is the black rubber hose. Man, I can smell that stuff. You know, I don't see that it did much to it. I think that last time that we did this, we had some separation of the hose and stuff like that with some different chemicals. This doesn't appear that it did anything. Okay, now we're talking like schedule 10 PVC. Feels fine. I, I don't see any degradation at all. Don't see much of a problem there. I'm sure the schedule 40 is going to be about the same. We're talk, pretty much talking the same product. A little funky on the inside there. It's plenty, it's, it's black on the inside. I don't know if that's the, the glue I'm trying to separate or anything. Does it, do you look at this, I'm rubbing the glue and primer off where it ran down in here. So that would kind of make me think that if it's set in a joint for a long time, it could possibly cause a problem. Not on the pipe, but on the cement that binds it together. Now, this looks scary. This is the ABS pot. So those of y'all out in California, this is, eh. I don't even know where to start with this. We got a, a bowl or something that I can just pour this into gently. So I'm gonna reach down here in the magic drawer. The reason being is 
Number one, I don't really see any liquid. I know, I know that there's some down there. I can see the way it's shifting, but it looks like, you know, if you look at this, it literally looks like, I don't know, like pieces of the pipe are, are shaving off and coming out, not just on the outside, but also on the inside. If you look down in it, it looks like it's now full of something. So I'm gonna, I've got this bowl. Oh, look at this. Everything left in the jar, this is your pie. So I will tell you right now, if you have ABS pipe, this is something you probably don't want to use. And I love all these plumbers that tell me, or homeowners that tell me, or DIYers that tell me, look, these chemicals don't mess with your pipes. Really? Okay, now remember, this is what we put in, and, and this is what just came out. If you are going to tell me that some of these chemicals don't mess with your pipes, I'm going to tell you you're wrong. Uh, there's what's left of the pipe. That That's what, basically, you see You see where it dissolved, started dissolving from right about here where my thumb is. From there down, that's what it looks like now. That's what it did. And I know a lot of you are going to say, well, Roger, look, it the chemical's never going to set in the pipe that long. You're wrong. The, the problem that we run into is if there's a belly in the pipe, and yeah, this is tough to breathe. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of seal this one up. I'm going to rinse this off just to see. Man, it almost feels like it was just burned with a torch or something. Cepetto fair. And it's from the inside, it's from the outside. It's, and then that is warm. There, there's a, there's definitely a chemical reaction going on because it does. You put your fingers in here, you grab it. You don't put a pair of gloves on and feel it. It, it, it feels warm. So, so we've definitely got a chemical reaction, melting, burning, something like that. And I'm up, I'm, yeah, I'm up. No, I guess I will put this back in here. Uh, that, that's what's left of the pipe, though, guys. So we're coming over here, and I can't even tell you what this is right now. I keep waiting on one of these to try to pop on me. Now, this is copper pipe. Okay? I can... Feel it it's warm so there is a chemical reaction going on here it has not really done anything to the pipe it's it's not like it's dissolved or, or feels real thin or anything like that but there's a coating on it that i cannot figure out it is really it, it, it is it's almost hot uh you know i'm sitting here holding it up against my fingertips and it's really really warm and i can't rinse this off this is a top L copper, so it's thicker than, you know, a 17 gauge P trap or something that you would have under your cabinet. But I believe that we've got one of those coming up here in just a minute. So the copper, look, it, it's it, it's not in a good place, but it looks like it's semi okay. All right, so now we're getting into another one. Now, was this a black nut for a Okay. Now, this is a galvanized nipple, and believe it or not, man, it looks pretty clean. It does not feel warm. It looks really super clean on the inside. I notice that when I'm touching it here, I'm, I'm, it's like I'm leaving fingerprints or taking off the, the galvanized material or something. Because, yeah, if I rub it, it, it kind of changes. It doesn't look like it damaged it at all. It really kind of looks like maybe it cleaned it up a little bit. Okay, now this is the 17 gauge P trap. I'll pull this out. And as you see, it first thing is it cleaned all the chrome off the brass, off the copper. Okay, and Colton, I want you to get a video over here real quick, a camera over here real quick. Do you see what's happening? Okay, so this is kind of crazy. We dropped this in the water. And that is literally just the, the pieces 
of the end of the ABS pipe. And I just, I happened to rinse off the, the 17 gauge. Okay, so out of the pipe there. So y'all see what's happening. There's still chemical reaction going on. I'd almost be interested in watching this another day or two and just seeing what it does. All right, so this is the 17 gauge, and man, it, it doesn't feel too bad. It removed the chrome off the outside of it, which any good plumber would love that because now he doesn't have to file this down in order to, to solder it. Uh, but the brass, the copper, it, it still feels really, really good. And this is the one that I was worried about because, like I said, this is the one that people that have a blockage in their sink, they may pour this down the drain thinking it's going to eat it up. So it may set in that pee trap for a while. And I was really afraid that it might literally mess up the copper pipe. All right. Was this another galvanized nipple? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So this is a black nipple and I know it looks galvanized. Now it feels really, really rough too. And I don't want to squeeze it too hard because I, I do not want to poke any holes in my gloves. Uh, it feels real rough on the outside. Not so much on the inside, but yeah, you can tell that it definitely did some of this. This, like I said, was a black nipple and, and now it looks galvanized. So it took any coating, anything at all off of it. Now we're down to the last one and this one just almost feels scary. It, it feels like number one, there's pressure because it's pushing up on the lid. So I'm gonna be very gentle. Okay, and see, this is what it's doing to the inside of the lid. Like there's a little rubber coating there or something and man, it, it's swelling it up. Now this is cast iron pot. Man, it's got some funky top gel coating or something. Again, it feels very warm. It, it looks like it's just peeling off the coating and stuff on the inside. Which is exactly what it did. So what this is going to do is, is eventually it's going to take off the coating that protects the pipe. Gonna take off the coating. I'm gonna put that in the drawer for water. But it does not feel like it damaged it at all. <coughs> so really, the only problem that we had was with the ABS pipe, and it wasn't a problem. It just dissolved the pipe. It ate it up. So if your plumbing system is the black plastic pipe ABS, you want to make sure you're not pouring this down your drain. I mean, it literally in 30 days ate it up, dissolved it, made it go completely away. No problem with the PVC. Hey, California, maybe you might start thinking about PVC. This is this is a drain cleaner that, that and it's not available anymore, didn't you tell me? Correct, yeah. But there will be other drain cleaners similar to it. So if you have a bottle of this, be very careful with it. If you don't have a bottle of this, you can still find them but they're getting really, really expensive because as you can see, they do work very well on a lot of things. I hope you got something good out of this, something that brings you value. And like I said, if you've got ABS pipe, you definitely want to worry about something like this. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you're going to like that one.